Hello and welcome to Mr. Barton's Web Whiz video number 22, where once again I take you on a very quick tour through some of my favourite mathematical websites. Now, two problems I'm often faced in the teaching of maths is number one, coming up with exciting, engaging activities that are relevant to the students and that'll hook them in. And secondly, whenever I'm lucky enough to get into a computer room, it's finding the kind of engaging activity that justifies actually sitting the students in front of a computer. And for me, my maths, getting them to work through those activities doesn't really kind of cut the mustard. Well, this website is absolutely fantastic for solving both of my problems. So I thought we'd take a look at it today. And if you just Google get the math, and the eagle-eyed among you will be probably thinking that this is an American website, and you'll be absolutely right. And here it is, very bright, very high impact. Uh, the way this website works is it's, it focuses very much on quality over quantity, because there's only actually three activities on there. Math in music, math in fashion, and math in video games. And the idea is kind of mini projects or mini investigations about the real life use of maths, maths in the real world, fun functional maths, if, if you want to call it that. Um, but what I absolutely love about it is the activities are so well designed. They're not just kind of tokenly put together, tag a little bit of hip hop on here. The kids will love it. They're actually, you know, it's proper stuff. It's been well thought out, well planned. And um, if I just show you, if I click on teachers here, you'll, you'll see the support that the teachers get. It's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, there's a video there that's certainly worthwhile watching. We won't do it now, but that kind of shows one of these activities in action and gives you a few ideas of, of how they might be run. But if I just click on this one, this math in music, Music, you'll see that you get an overview of the of the whole activity with the learning objectives which is always useful and then if you click on activities um, you get uh, supporting worksheets with it and supporting materials for the for the kids to write on which is great but what I absolutely love is is all this detail about the preparation so prior to the lesson or the information of the things you might uh, that you might need to get ready there's your introduction activity then you get a couple of learning activities. And look at the detail in that, it's absolutely excellent. This is lovely, a little kind of problem solving cycle that uh, the students can follow. A second learning activity, and then really nice, a culmination activity where the students get to discuss how they've done the work and look at the problem solving techniques that, that they've used. But enough of me babbling on, Let, let's look at one of these activities themselves. So if I click on the challenges, and we're, like I say, we're gonna look at this math and music one. Um, if you click on the setup, you get these two uh, two blokes chatting about the problem that they face in the world of hip hop. So we'll just give this a little play, and hopefully it'll come on. And I think we get the point there. The video goes on to say, um, gets these two uh, hip hop artists and they explain that one of the problems that they face is when, when they're mixing samples of, of music with raps, it's getting the beats per minute lined up, which uh, is a real life um, issue that they face. And basically it goes through the introduction, it's very clearly laid out. But the challenge for the students is can they do that? Can they take a sample and can they put the drum beat over the top so it matches? And I'll just show you how nice this is. That nice this is. I've been messing around with this for ages. So this is what the track sounds like at the moment. As you can see, it's all over the show. This is the electronic drum track. And that's the instrumental sample. And what you've got to do is line those two up. But it's not just a case of just sliding it. You've got to do a bit of... Um, bit of calculation so first the students are challenged to work out the number of beats oh sorry <laughs> if you just press play there they've got to count the number of beats in this thing and it goes on to then use the number of beats to work out the number of beats per minute and then they have to start matching up the sample with the drum beats and take all their factors into account and it's it's I mean, I'm, I'm probably not doing it justice here, but it's a really, really interesting, engaging activity. And it comes with a worksheet to support it, a student handout. And as I say, there's loads of teacher hints and stuff as well. And I just would advise you to, to give it a go. If, you, if you've got a couple of spare lessons or you've got a computer in books, choose one of them. The, the music, uh, the music's the one I've looked at most, but as I say, there's the fashion one and the video games one. And it's just something a bit different. And, I, I, and I'm always a big fan of stuff like that. So that's Get The Math. Give that a little bit of Google and give it a go. And just a little reminder, um, most of the tweets I'll be sending out these days won't be from at Mr. Barton Maths, they'll be from at TES Maths. So jump on board if you haven't already. And I'll be back with a fresh WebWiz video next week. Bye for now.